Everybody knows about the taxpayer-funded bailout Wall Street banks got in 2008. But most people don't know about the giant bailout banks are currently raking in from taxpayers across the country. All over the U.S., banks have locked states into costly, complicated agreements that are hard to cancel. And it's important to understand, because it's our tax dollars paying for it, and it's causing states and cities to slash critical services that we depend on. One of the biggest ways Wall Street banks do this is with something called an interest rate swap. Here's a guide to help you be an expert on interest rate swaps in 90 seconds. Okay, states sell IOUs called bonds to people and businesses with the promise to pay them back with interest over a certain period of time. States use that money to pay for important services like roads, police, and schools. Now, the interest rates that states pay on bonds can vary. Usually when the economy's bad, interest rates go up. The prospect of rising interest made state and local governments a little nervous, so Wall Street banks made them an offer they couldn't refuse. If the governments agreed to pay the banks a flat fee, just a little higher than the current interest rate, the banks would take over interest payments. Then came the bank-fueled economic collapse. You might have expected bond interest rates to skyrocket, but the Fed stepped in and cut them to all-time lows. Lower interest rates should have helped states and cities keep providing critical services during the crisis. But they couldn't take advantage of the discount rates because they were locked into their contract with the big banks. Now the banks are making huge profits on the tens, sometimes hundreds of millions of dollars in fees they're collecting and paying almost nothing on the state's bonds. For California alone, the bogus bank deals are costing taxpayers more than $130 million a year. Now, some of these bank deals are secret, so we don't know how many of our tax dollars are being sucked up but the estimate is around $28 billion nationwide. These deals are part of the reason so many states are running out of money. They're slashing education and public safety funding just to make payments to Wall Street banks. And what are the banks doing with that money? Paying themselves huge bonuses and compensation, more than $150 billion in 2009 alone. So there you have it. It's basically a second bailout for the big banks, and it's happening right now with our tax dollars. That's why we're calling on the big banks to stop holding cities and states hostage and let them either renegotiate their contracts or cancel them outright. You can get involved online and in your community. Go to seiu.org slash big banks to take action right now.